Hello, my name is Mike Pfaff, and this is my YouTube channel, Living in the Illusion. Now, the last time we got together, that was a little controversial, because we talked about thoughts. And, and uh, the statement was, can you have an idle thought? Can you have an idle thought? And uh, we, we, the problem was defining what a thought was. Now I checked a lot of some resources and uh, wasn't a good definition. It came to go around in circles. Thought is thinking that creates thoughts or stuff like that. So we don't really know what a thought is. Uh, so we went back to another source, uh, The Course in Miracles, and it said, there are no idle thoughts. All thoughts, all thoughts produce form, produce form on some level. So. It was a perplexing video and uh, I'll reference that up here and if you get a chance to look at it and you have an answer to what are thoughts and where they come from I would be interesting in knowing that so that's what I have up here can you have an idle thought and now we're going to change that and I'll have the subject that we're going to talk about on the board almost immediately. So now we're going to be discussing another controversial subject. And here it is. Can forgiveness change your world? Can forgiveness change your world? Now, the key phrase in here, the key word in here is forgiveness. So, uh, we have an idea what forgiveness is. Uh, and that comes uh, through, uh, uh, maybe through our religion and through our cultural background that we believe we know what forgiveness is. And I looked it up uh, just to see what it said. And uh, basically, in general, forgiveness is an internal decision to let go of resentment and anger. So, we got to let go of resentment and anger. And uh, in our world, now I didn't, well, I'm going to quote something again that you can find in many of our my videos. And that is, you create your world. So if you create your world, now make believe this is your world, and you create it based upon uh, the standard model for the illusion. And I'll reference, I think I have a uh, playlist around that subject. So I'll reference that up there. So you're creating your world. If there is resentment, on anger in your world who created it an interesting question since you are the creator of your world and your world has some things in it that aren't supporting you who put them there
Well, the conclusion is, if you made your world and you have some resentment or you have some anger or you have some acts uh, that you wish you wouldn't have done that may have offended other people, comes out of the world you created. So now we're saying we want to change that. Why? Because when you change that world through forgiveness, you let go of what you don't need. And since all of your resentments and anger and things that you wish you wouldn't have done, they're all in the past. So now we got to think, is the past real? And again, we have talked about that. And at least in my understanding that I presented, there is no past. There is only the present moment. And if you have any resentment or uh, anxiety around that, it will be because you have brought it into the present moment. And so you're distorting the present moment by concentrating on the past, which doesn't exist except as memories. And those memories you created the way you did to develop the world that you have. So the memories coalesce into beliefs and your world is developed around your beliefs. And also, you can only think thoughts within the framework of your belief system. So now, if you want to forgive and change your world, who have you got to forgive? Now, in the egoic world, uh, and the ego might, ego right now might tell you, well, you can't go around forgiving yourself or other people. You have to make amends. You have to contact them and ask them for forgiveness. You don't have to do none of that. Why? You created your world. You can change your world. Well, yeah, but what about other people? They have their own memories of whatever the event was that you are having resentment about or anger about or wish you'd have done something different. So their world, their, through their belief system, is entirely different from your world. Whether you forgive them or they forgive you, doesn't matter. Again, why? You're the creator of your world. The only person you need to forgive is yourself. There's nobody else 
in the act of forgiveness, but you. Now, you can already see how controversial this will be. So, we need to have a little foundation. So, I'm going to reference something in the course. Uh, by the way, all of these are in the description of the video. So here's what the Course says. For forgiveness literally, literally transforms vision and lets you see the real world reaching out quietly and gently covering the chaos. The egoic world. The smallest leaf becomes a thing of wonder and a blade of grass a sign of God's perfection when you forgive yourself, when you recognize as the creator of your world, you can change it. And when you change your world, you change the lens, which is your belief system, through which you bring the outside energy system into focus and you will create a new world. Forgiveness is very important for your peace of mind. For when you forgive yourself, you change how you view your whole world and you become the master of your world rather than the victim of your resentment and guilt. Guilt is the tool of the ego and right now your ego will jump up and say, oh, you can't do those kind of things. You can't just forgive yourself and have everything right. You got to go do some work. You got to go uh, find the people that you offended. You got to ask them for forgiveness and hopefully they'll do it or you are in hell until they change their mind. Doesn't, that's not true. You are the creator. Change your world by forgiving yourself. Change your world by forgiving the other person. Change your world by seeing the world stretched out the peace that passes all understanding stretching out before you, covering all the chaos, all the drama, all the pain that is in front of you because you are creating that. And when you know and let go of your resentment and anger and sadness over what you didn't do and should have done, your world becomes entirely different. And peace of mind and joy and happiness will be your world. Now give that some thought. I know it's 
not conventional. But it's time to move away from the egoic belief system and look to another source of understanding. Be good to yourself. And we look forward to seeing you next time we get together here in the illusion. Now do look at the description because I spent a lot of time working out some of this stuff on paper, which is the uh, description. So see if it makes sense. If it doesn't, write a comment, a question, a statement, to let me know your thoughts on the act of healing yourself. We'll see you next time here in the illusion. Bye now.